for the last time. I didn't do it. You know, I wasn't the only one there. My partner decided to get itchy with the trigger. We know about your partner. Where you have him now? Explain why you were there in great detail because exposition and stuff. Because reasons. You do realize that if you get convicted, you'll be forced to go into the games. The games that will that bring all the children to and parents together, even though they're not competing and they're watching you criminals die to the death so they don't have to worry about this no good crap anymore. Gotta love exposition. Yes, this is the first year we're doing it, and hopefully it's going to be good. I know it reminds you of the Hunger Games, but no, it's not the Hunger Games, you stupid! I should lose my temper. Your crime, according to our records, on December 16th was you attempting attempted murder and attempting to rob the local diner. Now, that doesn't look good. You do realize that we treat murderers with a certain kind of, you know, certain kind of treatment. You know, we've seen you before. You've pickpocketed most of the finest establishments on this side of town. Especially the nearest bars, which that gets a lot of customers. Now, I believe that we're going to take this into um, constructive matters, considering that you almost planted a bomb. Thankfully, we had our SWAT count team come in and destroy and put an end to that. Thank you very much, Mr. Bomb Squad people. Now, I believe that some, you know actions should go against you now for all the crimes that you've committed it's either um a life sentence or put you in the new game survival i'm pretty sure that we should do the survival one because that would be great for the country's news and it would keep our citizens safe. Can you believe that? That's the one thing you've never done. You've never done anything for the civilians that involved them not getting injured or them or you taking advantage of them. Didn't somebody else have this like a couple of years ago? Yeah, his name was Marcus. Okay, um yeah. We're going to have to put you in the thing. Yes. Okay, if you win, you will get a reduced sentence. If you die, you're dead. You're probably going to hell for that. So, I'll see you on the other side. By that, I probably won't see you again. Bye! You do realize this, Mr. Johnny Thunder. I will find you again. Yeah, good luck with that. You'll never find us again. Welcome one and all, young and old, to the first ever LEGO survival game. Well, it is Christmas Eve, and we are showing you how all the murderers and people you want to see die get murdered by our... Senior staff, staff. Don't worry. This isn't cruel. They've harmed your families and every and most people that you've known through the past couple months. Here we have like six to seven victims. All of them have committed a very serious crime. They're they're stuck here because, of course. They decided to do some very illegal crap that brought them here. I know I keep repeating myself, but some people are morons and can't li listen. So, you need to hear this before we g begin. Now, if any of the people in these games will get a reduced sentence, if they prove to be the last man standing, 
This isn't brutal. It's called revenge. It's their fault they got placed here for every crime they've committed for manslaughter. From do robbing to blowing up buildings. Good luck, survivors, people. Get ready for action. Where the heck did he go? Now, before I blow your head off, I'm pretty sure it would be right for me to, or at least for me to let you say your final words. So, I'll be the only one to hear them besides a lot of other people on TV. So, tell me, what are they? And then I can blow your head off. I believe that we should team up because if we team up, we have a better chance of not dying and maybe we can pull off a Hunger Games ending by us working together. Why do we mention the Hunger Games anyway? This is just, this is just a stolen idea. It's not a stolen idea. They weren't using criminals. They are using freaking children. A better story than this one anyway. So, how do you feel about this amazing idea? Well... Commanding General, you've seen enough to, you know, prove that our games work on prisoners. Besides, our review level is extremely high. Silence. I thank you for creating this method because our prisons are kind of getting a lot big and um, mothers are... And parent, other parents are just not enjoying the level of crime in our fair city. So, congratulations! You have won over the success of the city and the population. Yeah, but how do you think that this might get out of hand? I think you, um, Johnny Thunder, and you, I forgot your name. Wasn't it like Daniel something? I don't care right now. So, thank you for creating this marvelous and extremely intelligent idea. Why else? What else could we have come up with? Because execution is inhumane. I thank you for showing it. Yes, but what about riots? Because, you know, there's some people only cares, that decide that this is not okay. Besides, it happens. Like, on Christmas Eve. Do you think God would not appreciate this? Oh boy, are you wrong. He would thank us for their sins. And that we have saved the lives of millions of people in the city. The entire population of 5 million is safe thanks to us. Yes. 
this is a brilliant idea. It's amazing how we have two geniuses and you other two. What do you do again? It's not like it matters now. So, what do I do with the prisoner? Oh, we're going to give him a 90-year sentence. He's still going to be in jail because we don't trust them. Brilliant idea. That is extremely brilliant. What else could we have done without that? I mean, like, seriously. Yeah. So, what would I do if they don't kill each other and make an alliance to stop us? We'll cross that bridge when we get there. We'll assure you of that. Okay, let's go back to watching the games because we might be missing. So, I believe that we should team up because we have a better chance of surviving. But what about when it comes down to the two of us? Well, then we can duke it out with fists. Let's see who dies first. Ah, that's a very brilliant idea. There's two other hunters because... Well, they're not really hunters. They're more like competitors because we killed a couple hunters. Well, boy, I'm just as shocked as you are about this. This never usually happens. How would you know? Wait a minute. I saw you on the news before. You did the Black Friday thing. Like a couple, like 20 years ago. Wow, you're still as young as you were in that. Well, I guess we better get setting up. I hear a loud screeching car coming up. Let's hide in the building, shall we? Yes, that would be a great idea. Wait a minute! Stop the car! Stop it! Now! I think they might be here! What evidence? Just stop! Wow. I never thought they'd really come up here. I thought we'd go down to them in that old abandoned city. Just shut up! Well, as you can see, I sense great evidence through my great powers that they have been here. Don't keep the car running, take the keys out so we don't get caught, okay? Because I don't want them escaping. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's been a d an hour and it's almost midnight and the children and Santa and stuff. Now, we got problems. This is not going fast enough. That's why I brought in our help, Darth Vader, with his clone armies to make sure that they, well, you know, don't live and that they can capture, well, I mean, bring the w winner back so he can get his reward. But, sir, it looks like they're bound to kill each other. Yes, but it's very taking too much long, Mr. Jonathan Chase. I finally found out your name because I am boring. Now, whoo, this... Many parents are not going to like this show because we rated it TV-14. It's not like it matters. Darth Vader will go in there with his lights and we'll go pew, 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 pew. We have evidence of that. Now, send him in. Mr. Croy, to um, Anchor, I am in position. Congratulations, you're the last few to live after these surprising events for all of us that bring the civilians alive. You are the last three in the competition of six. This has been proved to be a success, people, and I'm here to deliver the final challenge. I know about you. You're Darth Vader. It's all your fault for whatever happened to the Republic. It's all your fault. I know it is. It is not your... It is not... Well, none of you will live, you people. I'm dumb at speaking. So, it is now your turn to get what you deserve.
So, as you said, John, Mr. Johnny Thunder and Mr. Jonathan, I did it. I lived. Now I'm seeing you again. So, how is this sentence going to be reduced, huh? Yeah, and I stable one year, then I get released. Well, we did say we'd limit your sentence from a lifetime, but not as much as you think. What? Well, we never specified. You see, we change. We we didn't change it. It was always supposed to be reduced. Well, considering that you had um your life in jail, we reduced it to ninety years. What? What do you mean, 90 years? I did it. Yes, and we reduced your sentence, like planned. But but people would find this unfair. No, they'd, believe, they'd listen to us, because you know why? You were the one who proved the crime. You're the one who did the time. You are in jail, and we can't trust you outside of it. Now, take them away to the Imperial Prison, because our prison apparently... Let people break out an obstruction of justice. So, you're w- well. At least you're not living on the streets. At least you're not homeless. At least you're not alone. I'll I'll come by sometimes, hoping you won't strangle me. So, goodbye. Take him away. What? No, you can't do this. This is a lawnmower. What are you doing? You can't do this. I.